Okay, let's look at this problem. It combines a couple of concepts, molarity and pH. So 12.3 grams of sodium hydroxide are dissolved in enough water to prepare 1,555 milliliters of solution. What is the pH of this solution? Okay, so first thing, it's asking, what's the pH? Well, remember, pH is equal to the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. So in order to figure out the pH, we need to know what the hydrogen ion concentration is. Well, this isn't an acid. This is a base. This is sodium hydroxide. So we're going to have to do this in a convoluted way. First, we're going to have to figure out what the hydroxide ion concentration is. Then we're going to have to figure out what the hydrogen ion concentration is so that we can then figure out the pH. So our first job is to figure out what is the molarity of the sodium hydroxide. Now remember, sodium hydro the molarity is moles of solute per liter of solution. S-O-L apostrophe N is an abbreviation for solution. So if that's the case, well, what's our solute? Our solute is sodium hydroxide. So we want to know moles of sodium hydroxide per liter of solution. Well, what do we know? Oh, we know what the volume of the solution is in liters. Of these two things, we already know what the volume of the solution is in liters. Well, what is 1,555 milliliters? Well, 1,555 milliliters, remember, there are 1,000 milliliters in a liter, so 1,555 milliliters is equal to 1.555 liters. So we, we know the denominator. The de denominator of this whole thing is 1.555 liters. So now what we need to do is figure out the numerator. So how do we figure out our moles? Well, we know that we have 12.3 grams of sodium hydroxide. 12.3 grams of sodium hydroxide. We're going to figure out how many moles. Well, we can use the molar mass. So we have in our handy dandy, uh, we have 22.9, so we'll call that 23.00 grams per mole for sodium, and 16.00 grams per mole for oxygen, and 1.01 grams per mole for hydrogen. So we have 23 for the sodium, 16 for the oxygen, and 1.01 grams for the hydrogen. Add that whole thing up. Use our handy dandy calculator. 23 plus 16 plus 1.01 equals 40.01 grams per mole for sodium hydroxide. So I can say, oh, okay, 40. 0.01 grams of sodium hydroxide is one mole of sodium hydroxide. Okay. So one mole of sodium hydroxide, so that equals, let's put in our calculator here, 12.3 divided by 40.01 equals 0 0.3074 moles of sodium hydroxide. Okay, well, let's go ahead and continue with that. We can figure out our molarity, the molarity of the sodium hydroxide. Remember in brackets, that means the molarity is equal to this number of moles. What do we get to? Three sig figs, three zero seven divided by the liters of solution, or the volume of the solution in liters, which is 1.55, 1.555 liters. So the molarity of this thing is equal to 0 0.307 divided by 1.555 equals 0 0.197 molar. Now, this is sodium hydroxide, remember. So this, this is the molarity of the sodium hydroxide. This is also equal to the molarity of the hydroxide ion. 
now we're cooking because we know the molarity of the hydroxide ion. We know this relationship. We know that the molarity of the hydrogen ion times the molarity of the hydroxide ion is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14. Okay. So what do we know? Oh, well, we know the hydroxide ion, so let's substitute that in there. The hydrogen ion is going to equal 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by 0.197. So we just rearrange this algebraically. Okay. So what's our hydrogen ion? Well, this is a base. So what do we know about bases? We expect for bases the hydroxide ion concentration is going to be, I'm sorry, the hydroxide ion concentration is going to be greater than 1.0 times 10 to the minus 7. Oop, can't see that. 1.0 times 10 to the minus 7, that's a negative. Okay. And we know the hydrogen ion concentration has got to be less than 1.0 times 10 to the minus 7. Well, does that all fit? Well, our hydrogen ion, I'm sorry, our hydroxide ion concentration is 0.197, so that's 1 times 10 to the minus 1. Yeah, that's bigger. How about the hydrogen ion? Well, let's figure that out. Hydrogen ion concentration, we'll take that, that uh, 1.0 times, that's EXP, 10 to the minus 14, 14, change the sign, divided by 0 0.197, 0 0.197 equals, oh, look at that, 10 to the minus 14, that's smaller than 10 to the minus 7, so we're on track. So we know the hydrogen ion concentration is equal to 5.08 times 10 to the minus 14. Now we can figure out the pH. So the pH, remember up here, we'll come back to this a little bit. The pH is equal to the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. Well, now we know the hydrogen ion concentration. Let's put this whole thing together. So the pH is equal to the negative log of 5.08 times 10 to the minus 14. Now, this is a base. Sodium hydroxide is a base. So we would expect that this thing have a pH greater than 7. So let's see how that works out. So the pH is equal to this. So let's go ahead and put this in. 5.08 EXP, negative 14. Hit the log key. What is that? It's a negative of negative 13.3. So there we go. So the pH is equal to 13.3. That's a reasonable answer because we expect a pH greater than 7.